on the ice, you got to take away their time and space. Good job by the Oil so far in this powerful on this penalty kill rather. Backlund tips it in. Abby Bulin waiting around the glass. Butler pinching, but Horkoff finds another hole and puts it down the ice. Mark, that's great down low support by Sean Horkoff. He could have been a little bit extended up by the blue line, but he wasn't poaching. He was true there. Good defensive coverage. 35 seconds to go in the Flames power play. Giordano around the boards. Blair Jones to Stepniak to the point. Giordano off the boards. And it's fumbled by Backlund, kept in at the line by Giordano. Here's Backlund now, across, step the end of the backhand, rebound Jones, and another big save by Heavy Bullen. Butler to the line, Stepniak down low, Backlund in front, Stepniak had to go off a stick in front. Final five seconds of the Calgary power play. At their lethal best here, Stepniak to the circle, Giordano back door, scores! Backlund with a wide open net. Just as the penalty expires, and Colton Tubert was stepping onto the ice, Michael Backlund gets his fourth of the season. Well, this is all starts off this great keep by Mark Giordano. The North York native keeps that puck in to extend right there. How about that play? Excellent support. And now here's the shot pass. The presence of mind to spot Backlund in the backside seat. Watch Backlund. He's calling for it. Giordano had his head up the whole time. That's a great executed play. What a pretty goal by the... Butler to the half wall. Backlund, rink wide. Aginla in front. Going right through the goal mouth and behind Camilleri. Back up ice, a two on one. Hemsky with Hall. Hemsky tries to center and is broken up by Bomeister. Back on the puck. It's picked up by Backlund. Looking very confident in the early going of this game. Drifting a shot on goal. Abby Bullen steers it to the corner. Tubert battling with Aginla. Good struggle for the puck there. Tubert gets it ahead. Everly chipping it up to Magnus Payarvi. Across the line. Dropping in and down goes the oiler, Belanger. Back up ice. Blake Como setting up at the circle. Winds, fires, scores! Blake Como, who's been encouraged to shoot the puck more, blasts one from the circle, and it's 2-0 Calgary. This is what happens when you take a penalty early in the game and you're scored on shorthanded. It puts you back on your heels, and you lose your rhythm. This is a great execution right here. Take a look at this shot. What a shot. He just puts it through Happy Bullen. Happy Bullen certainly wants to have this one back. But Blake Como shoots the puck much the way he did when he played in Long Island, when he was able to score some goals there. A little traffic in front of the net, drive by. You saw Stepniak just drive by Happy Bullen at the last minute. But that's when Happy Bullen certainly wants to have back. Blake Como with his first goal in 14 games. By Theo Peckham, no call. Excellent defensive play by Theo Peckham there. Back up ice, Hamsky had a chance to shoot, tried to feed Hall, and it was broken up by Scott Hannon. But again, the lost his stick or broke it, came to the bench, got a new one in time to find the puck on it, and a good chance there, and an even better effort by Theo Peckham to break it up. Now it's Speed, circling in his own zone, away from the forecheck of Jokadin, across for Jeff Petrie. Up the right wing, it gets over top of Gagne's stick, in deep, Chris Butler there for Calgary, using the net to get away from Hall, ahead for Como, Blake Como, Back up to Bomeister, through jumps the rush for Calgary. Drop pass, here comes Stepniak, shoot, scores! <laughs> Lee Stepniak, another support player coming to the fore tonight for Calgary. Coming into this game, Stepniak was actually promoted, Mark, up to the second line. And we talked about the Flames needing those support players, but this all starts off transition. How about this transition from the Flames coming out of their own zone cleanly? Great job by Jay Bomeister using his speed. He's playing at home here in Edmonton. Terrific job to gain the zone, make the entry, bump it back to Stempniak, and they shoot again from that offside. He's a right-hand shot coming down his off wing and goes shelf on Habby Bullen. That's almost it. They certainly have. Sir, from the physical standpoint, they definitely have. That's for sure. Much more engaged. But yet to score, trailing 3 0. Lee Stepniak taken down by Petrie. A race for the puck in behind the net. Belanger protects it, turns it over. Now Jokinen chops it. Stepniak.
Back to Blake Como. Como onto the stick of Jokinen. He's tied up by two Oilers in the final minute of this second period. A long flip pass gets away from Payarvi. Look at his speed as he chases Bomeister. Belanger tries to center it. It went off a stick and he went, may have hit him actually as he went down. Blake Como skates it back to center. Stick check for Petrie, then he overskates it. Stempniak in, scores! Oh my goodness! Lee Stempniak with a soft shot and Javi Bullen missed it. Stempniak, second goal of the game. And Javi Bullen is rather porous tonight. 35.2 seconds to go and you're playing at home in Rexall in front of the Jazz crowd to see the return of Taylor Hall. You're down three love in the second period. Watch how porous the Oilers are right here and they allow Stepniak that shot, but Nikolai Habi Bullen, I'm not sure, we're gonna take a look at this mark. Does this go off of Schmid? It looks like it goes off of the stick of Schmid, but again, that's one that Habi Bullen should have had. Behind the play, no call. Very well said, they get away with that one. Now you don't go to the well twice right now. You're up, you're, you're down, excuse me, 4-1. You just score, you got some momentum, you're making some good plays. This is a low percentage penalty by Darcy Hornichuk. And the bigger question for me is, how come that line was on the ice in that situation? You've got to roll your offensive guys right there, especially after you just finished scoring a goal. Hornichuk only Lee has had eight shifts to tonight, 16, and that was a bad one there as Edmonton tried to muck it up. And so Calgary goes on the power play. It's goaltender interference to call against Hordachuk at 629. And Calgary is 0 for 3 on the power play tonight with five shots. Hordachuk turns the puck over. At the point, Giordano finds Jokinen at the half wall. Jokinen now with Bomeister creeping into the slot. Back to the point again. The fires it off the goal post and in! It went off the post and maybe ricocheted off of Dubnik and into the net for a power play goal. Jerome McGinley coming back home. He's from nearby St. Albert, but watch this motion by the Flames. They go from the half wall right up top. Here's the shot. You're gonna see it hits the stick right there. And then it goes off the post and off Devin Dubnik, and it's just one of those nights. But Jay Bo Meester in front of the net. Mike Camilleri also sniffing around there. And that puck deflected en route and right there up over the outside lip of the pad and back into the net for the Flames. 30 seconds into the power play. Jerome Aginla with his Euler goal. In a 5-2 game, there's another shot from Petrie right on. Good save there by Kiprasov. Tom Rennie with nothing to lose, down three. Pulls his netminder. Stepniak gets it to the neutral zone, Everly. Rink wide pass to Petrie, he couldn't get it out. Calgary possession, they set up Stepniak. Scores! Lee Stepniak with the hat trick. His second career hat trick. His only other coming back in October of 2010 against the LA Kings when he was a player with Phoenix. That's a very unselfish play by Ole Okunen right here in the Calgary Flames. Terrific read right there. He picks the stick of the Oiler defender. I believe that's Jordan Eberle. He could have shot that puck, Jokinen himself, and he actually brings it, and there's a the frustration, and understandably so of Taylor Hall, very frustrated right there. That picture says a thousand words. Really upset. He gives everything he's got every night, like it's his last.